started with the Mayfair FT-303. Uh, we'll have to be working on the May F Mayfair sometime um, in the near future because it's it turns the reels has failed. So I need to either try to fix the motor in it or or um, replace it. But in the meantime, a recording made on it will play on this MagnaCord machine. I have not done anything to fix it yet. This is how it is off the original parts as it arrived today off from it from letting it off eBay. Rewind will need some help to get it going. And then it will kind of the motor could use some oil because it's quite loud. Or, oh well, it's just a little noisy. It's like, oh, it's but let's see how it plays this recording. Go. Okay. recording that had some odd ways in the speed so that was probably the recording mechanics that is. I still have not tried record though. I have made the first record test. I can already tell it must be AC bias. Here it is. Bonjour. This is the first test of the, of the Phonolo Magnacord reel to reel record test. I will need to spray the record play switch. I have not opened it up yet. This is the first record test. Let's see if it works. Good. Okay. The inside of the Funola magna cord is like this, very neat. I have been able to move the motor up a little bit to have the belt be on there tighter, a little bit tighter. So I can't find a belt exactly like that size. Anyway, the belt's kind of loose, but it does manage to turn the take-up reel mechanism. There's the six transistor circuit board, five transistors in the amp. And one transistor for the good old AC bias. And there's a little thing with capacitor, resistor. I've sprayed WD-40 in the switches. I have not got to oiling yet, but it is wow. Japanese made and made by Matsushita as some of the transistors. Now let's watch this thing up right here. Let's move it up a little bit so it, you know, so the reels can turn. This is going to be rewind, I think. Yeah. Rewind. This piece presses the belt against that um, drum, which spins to do rewind. I just need to watch it all go at a time. Of course, that thing is clutch mechanism, so that thing will just, if you touch it, it will stop turning. But I'm using one hand to hold this up while I do this, one hand to hold the camera, so I can't really do that. Touch that. But stop it. Play. Fast forward, probably gonna move the pinch roller away and it would raise the motor speed. Which the thing will get on tighter on the belt so it moves better. I really like the looks of that circuit board. See, I like these old electronic stuff. I like the I like the looks of the circuit board that doesn't have the green on it. Just that vintage look. I, 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 I like it. On the safety other side of the machine, um, you can see anything in the reels. Yeah, when I took the top part off, I was surprised. I was expecting to see idlers and things like that, and the, all that kind of stuff to move the reels. But all that, you know, 
who doesn't really use much in the way of idlers, but you know, this mainly a belt, belt drive device, but it's on the other side. And, um, actually, there's not really any idlers except for the thing that pinches the belt and rewind. This, I guess, could be called an idler in a way. Rewind. Of course, the Captain turns around, does. Play does a pinch roller. Just forward and moves the pinch roller away and raises the motor speed. Now, if you go back into forward, which is play, right after fast forward, it will keep it in fast forward mode but put the audio in so it's like Q. And then you stop it. You can, of course, go back and it's regular again. Rewind again. Of course, if you touch that while it rewinds, it's just a simple clutch mechanism. It's a really neat machine. Glad to say the speaker uses an Alinko magnet. As you can see right there, marked with 8 ohms, so see how it is. After doing some lubrication, and things have been good. This song was recorded using the Sony. The song was recorded using this little Sony reel-to-reel, TC900A. And see, it plays it good. Rewind is now, before when it was sluggish, it's now. Works. Because I moved the motor to where it would get a better traction on the belt. Now that, you heard it was slightly slower and more distorted. That's because that one was the same song, but earlier I recorded some with the Electra rim drive reel to reel, the Electra GP500. I was just doing some experimentation with different machines the other day, just recording, you know. As you can see, I have some, you know, those out, uh, like the Lloyds and stuff just sitting out there because I was doing some experimenting. It's uh, just different time. Just Let's fast forward that. Oops. Yeah. I meant to stop it. 